Buongiorno. On ressent la Dolce Vita. Voilà, exactement. Deleuze présente 4 consommatrices très critiques qui mangent pour deux, 5 producteurs et une avalanche de questions sur leurs produits. Je peux comprendre qu'il était un peu stressé. Bienvenue dans le test des futures mamans. Shall I go Buongiorno, I am Sofia and I'm presenting this beautiful pasta to you. Do you have any qu uh, questions for me? When I entered the room and they saw these pregnant women, they said, okay, maybe they will be particularly focused on the safety of the product and healthiness. It was a good life. Yeah. Vriendelijke en je zegt dat hij zenuwachtig was dat hij niet uit haar woorden had kon komen. Oh. Est-ce que vos raviolis sont entièrement produits en Italie? It's completely made in Italy, 100%. Je kunt het ook niet geloven omdat het net overal op staat en ja, het is gewoon niet altijd het geval. Working in this factory is really a matter of passion and commitment. And um, it's really like that. I mean, uh, Italian people have food in their blood. And me personally, uh, I have really food in my blood and I love it. I will always get in touch with food business, food industry, because it's really what moves me. Sofia, elle est venue avec tout un univers autour des pâtes. Parce que voilà, italienne, elle arrive. C'est comme italien over. Et tout, qui sait, un italien, c'est un beau style. Tu vois, c'est une image ingénieuse. Pour son Adolce Vita. Voilà, exactement. On s'imagine directement l'authenticité. C'est de l'boire, mais dans les produits We don't use any emulsifier, preservative, no artificial aroma. We uh, try to use up to the 70% of fresh raw materials, but then, of course, to ensure the safety of the product, uh, we add a little bit of dry ingredients. The dry ingredients could be breadcrumbs, uh, rice flour, or lactose powder, or whey powder. The priority is to preserve the freshness of the product. And so, of course, we will have to keep an eye on the recyclability, but the first point will always be the safety and also the goodness of the product. So you use plastic for the moment? Yeah. We are really working every day to improve the packaging and we are close to a final result. We have a specialized team in the company that is working every day on some machine trials for recyclability. So if we will um, be able to respect both safety and goodness, then we will be uh, ready to switch to recyclable. Est-ce que c'est vraiment des pâtes faites euh, comme à la maison, vraiment artisanales, ou est-ce que en fait c'est euh, plutôt industrielle Sorry? Fatto à la casa. Fatto in casa, exactly. <laughs> of course, this is our primary aim. So uh, the real objective that we try to do with our efforts every day is to replicate the homemade experience. What we basically do is to study what the Italian nonnas, which are the grandmas, were doing, and we try to replicate it in production. Let's try our pasta. Would you? Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have children? No, I don't. And which one is your favorite recipe? This one. Ricotta and spinach is my favorite taste, and I think that the drizzle of olive oil, the grated cheese on top, and uh, some fresh spinach was really the best we could have ever had. This is so good. Honestly. Thank you. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, but you're eating for two for the moment, yeah. so it's OK. I think that the turning point was after the tasting. The good thing is that it was completely spontaneous and I really loved it. I'm proud of what I have on the shelf. Deleuze, du côté de la vraie vie.